Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastefully Frugal. Today I want to talk about all of the Cricut machines. One of the questions I get asked the most through emails, through comments, um, here on YouTube and also on our Facebook groups is what is the difference between the three machines? Which one's best? Which one do I need? So today we're going to take an in-depth look at all three machines. We're going to talk about how easy each machine is to use. We'll talk about what makes the machines different. We'll talk about what materials they can cut, what accessories you can use for each machine. And then we'll make these cups and time each machine to see which machine actually cuts faster. And of course, we'll talk about the cost of each machine and who really each machine was designed for. So let's go ahead and get started with how easy are the machines to use. That is probably the most question, the most common question I get asked, whether people are asking about the Maker or the Air 2 or the Joy, how easy is it to use a Cricut machine? And coming from using a Silhouette Cameo before, I have to tell you that using Cricut is so easy. The hardest part is using Design Space, and it's really not that hard at all, and it's going to be the exact same uh, process whether you're using the Maker, whether you're using the Air 2, or whether you're using the Joy. When it comes to using the machines, there are a couple of differences. As you can see right here, on the Air 2 there is a dial that you can choose your different materials. There's also a power button, your load, and your ready to cut button. If you lift the, lift the flap on the Maker, let's move the Joy out of the way, you'll see that there's also a power button, the load and the cut button, but there's no dial. So on the Maker, you will choose the material that you want in Design Space. There's also a custom feature on the Air 2 that allows you to select the specific material in Design Space as well. But as you see with the Joy, there are no buttons. When you open it up, everything is done in Design Space. So for me being a mom, I think the Joy itself is easier to use because I can't tell you how many times I've been working on a project with my three-year-old around and she decides to hit a button thinking that it would be fun and she ends up pausing a cut or starting a cut too early. So I really like the simplicity of the joy for uh, crafting with kids, also crafting um, on the go. You don't need uh, like a mat, a mat like you would with the Maker or the Air 2. You can just craft with vinyl or iron-on. Uh, you can do matless with the joy. So we'll talk about that more in a couple minutes as well. So all the machines are easy to use. Um, you can have more control at the machine itself with an Air 2 and the Maker, and then the Joy is completely controlled in Design Space. Let's first talk about the extras and accessories for Cricut Joy. When Cricut Joy was announced, the accessory that I was most excited about was the Cricut Joy card mat. Now this is a revolutionary new project product that it is a mat, like a cutting mat, but it has this little, um, this filter here that allows you to put pre-scored cards in, so that way it just cuts the front cover. It makes making cards so much easier. If you want more information on the card mat and how to make your cards, as well as how to make your own cards, there, there is a description, um, a link in the description to a video just about the Cricut Joy card mat. The other feature that I was super excited about with the Joy was the ability to cut without a mat. And with that, there are certain materials that came, like Smart Vinyl, Smart Iron-On, and Smart Label. Let's put these over here, and Smart Label. So all these materials you can use without a mat. There's also the Smart Label that is the adhesive paper um, that looks more like the craft um, paper that you would use to make labels. So these are all specific to the Cricut Joy that you can use um, with the Joy. Now you can use any of these materials with the other two machines as well, but you would need to put them on a mat. The Joy is the only machine that you can use without a mat. And then there is a toolkit. These tools you can use with any of the Cricut machines. They just match the Joy. So this is a scraper tool that you can use to scrape off um, excess materials on your cutting mat. Um, you can also use it to uh, scratch in. I'll show you when we are making these tumblers. Um, you can use it to put the transfer tape onto the vinyl as well as onto the cup. Um, this is a spatula tool. This tool you can use to help lifting paper and cardstock off of the mat. It comes in super handy. And then the weeding tool, this is just my favorite tool ever. You use this when you're working with iron-on or vinyl. It makes it a whole lot easier to get those small pieces off. So these three tools you can use with any of the Cricut machines and they come in a variety of different colors. 
Now, one of my favorite accessories that you can use with all of the Cricut machines are the Cricut pens. As you can see here, there are a ton of different colors and varieties available. Um, the Cricut Joy has its own pens that you can use, but all of the other pens you can use in the Air 2 or the Maker. All right, next let's talk about the Maker tools because there are a whole lot of them. Each maker comes with a fine point blade, just like the Air 2 does, and it also comes with a rotary blade. This blade allows you to cut fabric. Um, there are dozens of different kinds of fabrics that you can cut with the rotary blade. Uh, you can also purchase the knife blade. Um, the knife blade allows you to cut thicker materials like chipboard, um, balsa wood, basswood, genuine leather. Um, this is a really handy tool. The next tools all come in the quick swap housing. So what that is, is they all have the same top part here. You'll see there's a little button. If you push that button, it'll remove the housing at the bottom and then you can swap it out with another one, making it a whole lot easier and more affordable to own these tools. So blade number one and two are your scoring wheels. Number one is a single scoring wheel. Number two is a double scoring wheel. You use these things for like making cards. You can even um, score acetate boxes. They uh, take scoring to a whole nother level. They really are amazing tools. Tool uh, tip number, uh, oops, sorry, 11 is the other tip. I almost skipped 21. 11 is the perforation blade. 11 allows you to cut perforated lines. These are perfect for like countdowns or pull away cards, things like that. It just makes it easier to tear away. Number 21 is the debossing tip. You can use this on a variety of materials um, to deboss uh, words or images into your design. Tip number 31 is a wavy blade. Instead of cutting like a, cutting in a straight line like the fine point, fine point blade does, the wavy blade allows you to cut a wavy uh, line, which gives you uh, another layer of dimension to your projects. Um, and last but not least, least, the engraving tool. This tool is amazing. You can engrave acrylic, you can engrave poster board, um, you can engrave leather. There's a whole lot that you can engrave with the engraving tool. If you'd like to learn more about each of the tools, uh, like what materials you can cut with them, um, how they work, some project ideas, I've linked a post in the description for, of this video to uh, a blog post that I have all about those maker tools. Next, let's talk about the materials you can cut with each Cricut machine. With the Joy, there's over 50 materials you can cut the Air 2 has over 100 materials you can cut, and the Maker has over 300 materials you can cut. Now, for the Maker, this ranges everywhere from, you know, something light like tissue paper, all the way up to Kevlar um, or thicker fabrics, uh, chipboard, balsa wood. Um, you don't need bonded fabrics. The Air 2 can cut fabric, but it needs bond. It needs to be a bonded fabric, like something like heat and bond on the back, um, just to secure it to the mat. Um, all of the machines can cut vinyl, iron-on, paper, cardstock, and the Joy has the ability to cut without a mat. So there are materials uh, that Cricut has created called smart materials. There's smart uh, vinyl, which is adhesive vinyl, smart iron-on, and then there's a smart label, which is a writable vinyl and writable deluxe paper. These materials don't require a mat, so that cuts down on the amount of cut time uh, that you need for the Joy as well. Now the Joy can cut more than just the smart materials. There are mats that you can get for the Joy just like the Air 2 and the Maker. They're just smaller and you can cut, like I said, over 50 materials on the Joy. So now the question is, which machine cuts the fastest? So with the Air 2 and with the Maker, you have the option to cut at two times the speed on certain materials. Things like um, iron-on, paper, cardstock, vinyl, um, that the machine can cut easily, gives you the option to cut at regular speed or two times speed. So I made these cups and I timed each machine to see which one cut fastest. And I was actually pretty surprised at the results. So what do you think the quickest machine was? Let me know in the comments. So whenever I'm working with the Air 2 or the Maker, I like to cut my material down to size before I put it on the mat. This makes it easier to remove after it's done cutting and also makes it easier to weed. So I just use this portable trimmer from Cricut to cut my vinyl down to size. Then I'm going to load the vinyl onto the mat. Make sure you remove the plastic cover before you do this. 
load your vinyl at the top of the grid and then open your machine. You'll want to load your mat underneath the feeder tabs and press the flashing load button. Once the sea light starts to flash, click that to start cutting. On regular speed, the Air 2 was able to cut our design in a minute and 18 seconds, but on two times speed, including time it took to cut our vinyl down to size, it only took 55 seconds. Now let's take a look at how fast we can cut with the maker. As you can see, I ha start with the same process as I did with the Air 2, cutting our vinyl down to size and loading it onto the standard or onto the light grip mat. You can use either a light grip mat or a standard grip mat, whatever you have um, works for vinyl um, on these projects. Just like the Air 2, you'll load your mat in under your feeder tabs, click the flashing load button, and then when the C button starts to flash, click that to begin your cut. The maker actually cut on regular speed quicker than the Air 2. It only took a minute and 14 seconds to cut our design out on regular speed, and then two times speed was the exact same time for the maker as it was for the Air 2, 55 seconds. Now, as you can see here with the joy, our time to prep our vinyl was a whole lot less because all you have to do is load your vinyl into the machine when you are prompted in design space. The joy will measure to make sure you have enough vinyl and then you can click the go button in design space to start cutting your design. It only took 41 seconds to cut the exact same design, same size, same everything with the joy. The Joy does not have a two times speed option, but even at regular speed, it was less time to cut with the Joy than with both the Maker and the Air 2. Next, let's talk about the cost of each machine because that is a question I get a lot of times too. How much does each machine cost? What is their usual sale price? Uh, cost does have a big determining factor on what machine you get. Uh, the Maker's MSRP is $399, but you can often find it on sale for anywhere from $329 to $369. Uh, the Air 2's MSRP is $249, but you can often find it on sale for as little as $199. And the Joy, which was just released this year's MSRP is $179. I haven't seen the Joy on sale yet just because it is a newer machine, but the MSRP um, is lower for the Joy than it is for the other machines. So now that we know everything that the machines can do and how much the machines cost, which machine is right for you? That I think is completely up to the user. I have obviously all three Cricut machines and I use all three machines on a regular basis. I really love the simplicity of joy for when I'm crafting with my kids or if I need to do a last minute project. As, as you can see from the cut test, it does cut quite a bit quicker. So if there's something that I'm working on that I need to get done um, quickly, I really like the simplicity of the joy. Um, it's also nice to be able to take it if I need to cut something in the kitchen, like when I'm cooking breakfast or any part of the house, it's nice to just take the, um, the joy in one hand, whatever materials I have in the other and take it wherever I need to craft. Um, the Air 2 has a ton of options as well. And really it's not, a lot more expensive than the Joy, especially when you can get it on sale. Um, the Air 2 is a great machine for both beginner crafters as well as um, advanced crafters. And the Maker is just, it's just an amazing machine. What more can I say about it? it? It cuts a lot. As we went over with the accessories, there's a whole lot of different tools that you can use to engrave, to deboss, to add some different uh, textures with the wavy blade and the perforation blade. Um, Plus you can use the scoring wheels to make cards and boxes, the knife blade to cut uh, thicker materials and the rotary blade to cut fabric. So if you are wanting to cut the widest variety of materials and have the most options for crafting, the Maker is definitely for you. Um, the Joy is also a great companion to either the Joy or the, uh, to the Maker or the Air 2. I've heard a lot of people that have these machines that buy the Joy just for the simplicity of those easy to go, uh, easy on the go crafts. So it really just depends on what your budget is and what you want to do craft-wise, but you can't go wrong no matter what Cricut machine you get. So I hope this gives you a better idea of the differences and similarities of all three Cricut machines. Uh, we've talked about what the machines cut, how fast they cut. Uh, we've talked about the different mater uh, materials and accessories that come with the machines. We've talked about the different cost and uh, who each machine might be great for. But like I said, you really can't go wrong with any Cricut machine. 
If you'd like to check out more machine tutorials as well as projects, go ahead and subscribe to Tastefully Frugal and make sure to hit the notification button so you can be notified when new videos go live. Also, check out the link in uh, the description for this video for more in-depth blog posts that compares all three machines and gives you information on when there are sales as well as discount codes and things like that. 